Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the Canon M50 and its banding issue, which is no different than any other electronic shutter. But the Canon has two particular things that I noticed when using the electronic versus the mechanical shutter that I think you need to be aware about, especially if you're using this camera or you're thinking about purchasing this camera. I decided to do a little test under different lighting conditions and what I used was the long fluorescent lights that you might see in a school or an office building. And then I also used an LED ceiling light. And then I also tested the camera under compact fluorescent bulbs that you might see in a hotel room or actually in your own home. This first shot was actually taken in a school library using the long fluorescent bulbs. And you can see that the banding is very prevalent and very closely spaced. And I'm shooting at a shutter of 160th. Notice now in this photograph, still at the library, but our shutter speed is 1 100th of a second. And now the banding is not as prevalent and it's a little farther apart. In this last photo, still taken in the library, you can just see some banding on the pole as well as across the young man's shirt. This brings us to the issue that I think you need to be aware of if you own this camera or if you're thinking about buying this camera and using its electronic or silent shutter mode. The Canon M50 does not allow you to change anything in reference to settings when it comes to the silent shutter mode, except that you're allowed to either brighten or darken your photograph. So once you've used the scene selection button to activate silent shutter, which is indicated in the upper left hand quarter in this photograph of the speaker with the line through it, you'll notice on the right side in the center, there's a plus minus dial which is what I have selected here. This shot taken in my office that I'm renovating was just simply put on silent shutter mode and I took the picture. And that is the stats that it gave me, 160th, 1250, f6.3. Now for the next shot, I went back and I cranked it up using the brightness dial in the back. And this is the photo I got. As you notice though, it's at 1 60th of a second. It's actually a better looking photo too. ISO has been cranked way up to 6400 f6.3. So each one of those bars for the selection equals about a stop to a stop and a quarter when it comes to making adjustments in the silent shutter mode. Testing the camera under CFL bulbs with the electronic shutter, I set it to 1 60th of a second, ISO 2500 f6.3. As you can see, the banding is very prevalent and closely spaced together. But look what happens underneath the same circumstances with a mechanical shutter. All your banding issues are gone. So we covered one way to combat the banding issue when you're using the electronic shutter, and that is simply move over to the mechanical shutter. The other way to eliminate it, or reduce it at least, is to go ahead and adjust the brightness up so that the ISO kicks up and it lowers the shutter speed to either reduce or eliminate it totally. So did you notice the second issue with this camera when you're using a mechanical shutter versus an electronic shutter? Yes, the horrible color shift this camera has when using the electronic shutter or the mechanical shutter. This photo is representative. It was taking at the exact same place, the exact same time. The only thing I changed was electronic versus mechanical. And look at the color shift difference. It's amazing. So what I suggest is I would shoot in RAW and I would shoot in large JPEG to give you maximum flexibility the mechanical shutter photo is actually what the wall and the color look like. So I don't know what Canon's doing with their electronic shutter, but it's absolutely horrible when it comes to rendering color, especially on the M50. I don't know how it is on the other cameras, but the M50 just doesn't do a great job. So definitely make sure you're shooting in RAW so you can have some flexibility later on and really bring back a photo if you need to. Well, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, definitely give me a like and do consider subscribing. For my next video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can find what is the optimal shutter speed when shooting with an electronic shutter in a venue and you cannot use your mechanical shutter because of the noise. So definitely check back and we'll see you there. Thank you.